Hi everyone, it's Jeremy Bird. Today, we're going to be talking about how to create a bounce effect in Grand MA3. A lot of you are familiar with the bounce effect in Grand MA2 because it was an option when creating an effect. Do you want it to bounce left, or do you want it to bounce right, or do you want no bounce at all? In MA3, that's not an option at all. Of course, there are plugins that you can get that will help you out with this, such as the MA Tools Bounce plugin. I've used it a couple times, and it's a great plugin, and it's very powerful. However, the issue that you run into, especially if you're jumping around to different festival or house rigs all the time, is that you'll have to take selection for all those selective effects every time. That can get tiresome real quick, especially when you have a million other things to deal with on show day. My answer to that problem is recipes. The way my workflow with bounce effects works is by using a sequence with four cues. You can do this in two cues by using allowed duplicates and parts. But the idea that a light can have more than one command in the same queue for the same attribute doesn't sit right with me. I personally think a light should only have one command for its attributes in one queue at a time. So thus, the four queue method. Queues one and three are going to be the on values, and queues two and four are going to be the off values. To create the bounce effect, we're going to be messing around with delay times. And to smooth it up a little bit, we can use fade times as well. Let's get into it. So you'll see here, I have a layout view with a bunch of Ayrton Huracans on here. And we're going to be using this to make our bounce effect. However, because we're using recipes, we can use any group in our show file and it'll just work. So to start off, let's store a sequence since that's how we're going to make this happen. And let's go ahead and call this sequence bounce. And like I said earlier, we're using four cues. So I'm going to store cues one through four. It's going to be in part zero and to make them a recipe line, dot one, because we only need one recipe line. So I'm going to select all four of my cues here, go to my selection, and let's just assign my selection to the recipe lines. For the on values, it's going to be my dimmer preset of 100. And for my off values, it's going to be my dimmer preset of zero. And when I hit go, my lights turn on, turn off, turn on, and turn off. Now, when I hit go, you'll see it says go plus failed. That's because I have wraparound off. So now with wraparound on, I can just go forever. But this is nothing special. We wanted to make a bounce, not a bunch of lights turning on and off. So to make this happen, we're going to mess around with our delay from X and delay to X. And you can also do this with delay from Y or Z or however your selection grid is set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 0.5. And the way this works is your first two lines, your on and off, need to have the same delay. However, to go the opposite direction, it needs to have the opposite delay. So now that we have that, if I hit go, now you'll see we have a bounce effect. But I don't want to run this live during my show. I want it to just run by itself. So I'm going to come over here to the trig type. I'm going to change it to time, and I'm going to make this... 0.5 as well. So now when I hit go, it just works. But as you'll see, the first and the last fixture are off for the shortest amount of time. So to fix that, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come in here. Oh, come on. And I'm going to make this 0.48, just so it has a little bit of dark time before it comes back on again. But because my trig time is sent to 0 0.5, it's still going to be on time. And to make it match my song BPM, or however, if this is a busking situation and you have a Speedmaster you're constantly learning, we want to go ahead, I'm just going to set the Speedmaster back to 50, we want to go ahead and turn on our Rate Master to be whichever Rate Master you use. So I use number one as my song BPM. And if you really wanted to, because I have these all at 0.5, let's say I wanted this to be double time, instead of this, instead of me changing this to 0 0.25, I'm just going to go ahead and just set the scale to multiply 2, or 4, or whatever you want. But I'm going to keep this on 1 for now. And because it's tied to my Speedmaster, I can go ahead, I can slow it down, I can speed it up. And see, this is the issue I run into is if my Speedmaster is at 99.9%, it works fine, but it says it's at 100, and I know that's a lie, because when I come here to my song BPM, 99.9. .9. However, 
when I make it a hundred, it goes ape shit and there's no value. However, if you were to do the math, 255, oh, sorry, 225 BPM, there is a number that is absolutely not zero. So this theoretically should work. And also 50 is 60 BPM. And you would think 25 is 30. Nope, you're wrong. And you would think 75 is 90. Well, guess what? You're also wrong. This is a little confusing with the math. And also half speed and double speed don't work for sequences that have this set up as a rate master. They only work for phasers. However, I can learn speed. But the second the band starts to get a little too fast and I go over 100, well, now I have constant strobes, which is not at all what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and set this back to 50. And just like that, we have a working bounce effect. However, because I'm a little bit extra, I went ahead and I made a macro for this. I actually have two macros, one that sets the low and high preset. And what that does is you just click on two presets and it creates the macro command for the main macro. So we know what presets to use right now. It's preset 1.1 and 1.2. However, I can come in here, set my low preset to soft hit and set my high preset to big hit. And when I come in here, now it's preset 1.4 and 1.5. So I try and make this as universal as possible if I don't want it to be zero and a hundred, but for right now, it's going to be zero and a hundred. So I'm going to make my bounce. I'm going to select my sequence, select my group and let it run. And as you see, it labeled it following how I like things labeled for my playback of a song. So JBLX bounce. So I know exactly what this does. And when I hit go, it just works. And it's exactly everything I did in this bounce sequence, except I automated it. And you'll see in the bottom, I have select my song sequence turned off because after it makes it, I don't want to have to select my song sequence again. So this is the way I prefer to make a bounce effect. And if you really wanted to, you can come in here. We can add a wings of two. And now we have it doing this. Bing, bang, boom, just like that. And like I said, if we want more dark space, we'll go 0.45 and we do it for both. And now we have more dark space, but it's always gonna be on beat with whatever your speed master is because the sequence is set to a rate master. If I set this to BPM, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, 105. Now it is gonna be on time every time because it's following the trig time. So this is my tutorial on how to make a bounce effect in Grand MA3 using a sequence. Would it be nice if there was a way to build it within a phaser that's not selective? Absolutely. But I personally think this gives you more control because then I could just come in here and I could say, I want my fade to be 0.25. And now just like that, I have this cool looking fade or 0.1, just so you know. It's a little fade up, little fade down, nothing too crazy. And because it's a recipe, I can come in here and change this to my all pixel line group and come in here, find my pixel lines and it just works. And that's the best part about recipes is it will just work. You want to not have it be all your pixel lines. You want it to just be just these specific parts of your fixture. Sure. Or you want it to be, let's change it to my wing VLs and we'll come in here, find my VLs. And bam, now it just works. And if you really wanted to, you can copy all these recipe lines and add another group and another group and have a million groups and it will just work. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you clicking on this video and hopefully this was informative. And now you're able to have an awesome looking bounce effect that's recipe based in your show file. So if you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section or you can reach out to me personally via, uh, via Facebook, email, go on my website. And yeah, so thank you all for watching and have a great day.